Welcome back everybody to another messy goalkeeper career. Now we're currently in December and I've been in port form and uh, we have about four games left up until the transfer window opens. So I'm going to be I'm going to be trying to prove to my manager that I should be staying here and playing every single match. If not, I'm probably going to be moving on to another team because uh, it's just been way too hard for me in the BPL. I know I'm a 78 rated, but like it doesn't show. Uh, in my last four matches, I got a minimum average rating of 6.0. I got uh, a 2.0 saves to goal ratio. Didn't get any clean sheets. It's just not a good time for me in goal. And we're taking on Everton right now. And let's see if the manager actually puts me in the starting 11. And yes, he does. So we really need to, I really need to prove to my manager that I should be in goal every single match. It obviously doesn't help when my whole team is in poor form, but we're going to jump into this match because we need a very big victory. I need a clean sheet and I think I'm going to stay in goal all game. So I saw somebody pretty interesting in the Everton lineup. They actually got themselves Jeremy Menez and Menez is going to be a good, is going to be a tough player to watch. Uh, I just need to fix my camera because I changed it for the Manuel Neuer striker career. Let's put it on pro. Let's jump into this match. And I'm going to try my best to stay in goal. You guys know it doesn't last that long when I try to stay in goal. But I really need to because I need to up my rating and I really need to up my saves. De Lefeo to McCarthy. Let me come out a bit. That's Barkley. Oh, beautiful save. The rebound defender. Thank you very much, Calker. Thank you very much, Calker. That was a beautiful Goal line clearance. I made the first save and then it was up to my defender to save that one. Let's see if I can come out and punch it. Nicely done. That is going to help my rating a lot right now. Calker, thank you very much for that goal line save. And I actually did make my first save of the game right there. Everton, that was their, their first shot on goal and they couldn't take it. Here comes Menez. That's back to De La Feo. De La Feo is probably going to go near post. That's another save. That's two for me already. Big save, nice play between De La Feo and Jeremy Menez. Messi with the save right over his head. They've got themselves another corner. We punched away the last one. We're going to see where this one is. I'm going to come out and claim that nicely done, Messi. So that's already two saves and two punches away. And I'm keeping QPR in this one because Everton is putting on an immense amount of pressure right now. Here comes Hoylet with speed. Cross that one in, cross that one in. That's a nice cross. Can somebody get there? No. Here is Harriman. Harriman, let's have the shot. Harriman, what the hell was that? Funes Mori clears that one. My team honestly has been doing absolutely nothing. Uh, they just they just get into the into their half and they, they they just play around with the ball. They haven't taken a shot on. They come up the wing. They do nothing. Everton the same. They've taken two shots and I punched away two balls. But other than that, nothing has been happening in this half. That's the end of the first half. Let's jump into the second half. Try and do more of what we were doing. In the first half, I've been playing good. I don't want to see my match rating yet. I want to see it only at the end of this match. It's a nice ball. Sandro up to Phillips. Phillips, that's a nice cross to Harriman. Harriman into the middle of the header. And the save by, I think that's Joel. I think that's Joel, the goalkeeper of Everton. I actually called for the cross. I actually clicked square and made my teammates cross because or else they were definitely not going to do that. Here comes Phillips with the corner. That one's whipped in to Kalker, Kalker to Onuha, back to Kalker, Kalker, and that's a shot from, who was that? That was Sandro with the strike, but that one goes wide, and uh, we're actually putting on some pressure right now. I wouldn't be surprised if we walk out of here with a victory. De La Feo linking up with Baines, here's Baines on the ball, into the middle to Gibson, Gibson is going to try to lift that one over once again. It's, it's becoming really repetitive right now because that's all they're doing. They're not trying anything other than to just do a chip through ball. Here comes Baines. McCarthy, we're in the 90th minute, plus one. One minute of extra time. I mean, added time, and they're just playing it backwards. Okay, intercept that. Yes, go Soma. Go Soma. You got this. Come on. Soma. Outmuscle them. Soma. Ah, oh, Ross Barkley comes out of nowhere and just gets a foot to it. That's going to be the end of this match. Nothing really happened after the first half. I made two saves, punched the ball away twice, and let's go see my final match rating. Look at that. 9.1 match rating. Ah, finally, I, I get a good match rating. I stayed in goal the whole game. I didn't run out. I usually have the tendency to just sprint down the field, and it actually pays off. I parried away four shots. And I get a 9.1 match rating. And we escape here with a draw to Everton. And yes! We get a DNA in our first training of this episode and we increase to a 79 overall goalkeeper. Almost at that 80 mark 
And honestly, things have been going good. Well, one game has been going good, and my, my form in the past couple of games has been excellent. That's what it says at the top right. And we're taking on Fulham, and I'm in goal. December 24th, uh, three more games left until the transfer window. So let's jump into this match against Fulham. Less people are in poor form now, and as you can see, my form bar is all the way up. It's excellent. Let's jump into this match. We're at home. I love this road. And I need another big game right now because I, th that game just, just gave me the confidence to play another match and play another good game and stay in goal the whole match. Rainy day here at home and uh, Fulham have just come up from the championship. They do have Ross McCormack and I think, honestly, that's all they really have. So that's who we're going to have to watch. I hope it's not another boring game, a nil-nil game because... I want some action at the other end of the pitch. I don't want to always be having to just stand in my net and watch them go up and do absolutely nothing with the ball. Sandro's going to pick up a yellow card on the left side of goal. And uh, that's going to be a free kick. And this is really the first test all game if they could whip in a good ball. Messi, can I get there? That's cleared away by one of my defenders. I tried to punch it away, but I didn't get to it because I'm way too short. And Sandro just recovers in time. Here comes Case. On the wing, he's going to whip this ball in. Can I get there in time? Why did I even try to go for that? Why did I even try to go for that? Here's Evans on the right side. We're keeping them to the wings. And they're just trying to play the ball in the middle. That's one to Christensen. Back to Evans. Evans blocked by one of my defenders. I'm not really sure who that was. Here's Case. Target. I mean, Taggart, not target. Takes a shot, but it goes wide. Not much happening, like I said already. We're trying to get this one to Yun Suk Young, and it does get there. Nicely done, Messi. Oh, nice passing. Farlin, give it into the middle to also I mean Soma. Take the shot. Nicely done. The save by Stecklenburg. Oh my god, I thought that was gonna be a corner. Here comes Phillips into the middle. Once again, the shot. Can somebody get the rebound? Can somebody get the rebound? Farlin tries to send it in, but it's blocked by one of the Fulham defenders. And we're going to get a corner. It's Phillips to take it. I'm not running up. Like I said, I'm going to stay in goal. That one's whipped in. And that one's punched away by Stecklenburg, the experienced goalkeeper. That's the end of the first half. Nothing really happened. Let's jump into the second half. And uh, I don't even think I'm going to be showing you highlights from the first half. Because I've just been standing in goal. And they had one shot off target. My team did absolutely nothing. Few shots here and there. Let's jump into the second half. I might be going up in the second half. <laughs> okay. Finally, something into the middle. Christensen with the shot. That's their first shot on target. And that one's into the back of the net. Can't bl well, not really. You can't really blame me for that one. Doesn't help that my defenders are just standing there like a bunch of cones. He comes in. I try to come out a bit. But that was a very nicely placed finesse shot. Into the left side of goal, and I almost got a touch on it, but it was just very nicely placed. And I don't have that far of a reach because Messi's only like five foot seven, and we're down one nil. And I think I'm gonna have to start going up in this match. Let's go! Give me the ball! Give me the ball because you guys seem to not want to do anything in this match, and I'm gonna have to take it all on my own. Oh yes, Messi! The dribbling and that was just terrible. No, don't tell me I caused an attack. For Fulham, I need to get back in goal. I need to get back in goal because then I'm just gonna cause a, another freaking goal. Case tries to send that one in. The sh no, that's a cross and the volley. Everything has gone to shit. Everything has gone to shit in less than like 10 minutes. They've scored two goals. Oh my goodness, I should have just stayed in goal. I should have just stayed in goal. That's all I needed to do. The cross was there. And that's a nice volley. I was in a decent position. I actually got back in the decent position. But Ross McCormack with the strike. And now we're down 2-0. And it's not looking good for me. Not looking good for me. I come off a 9.1 match rating. And I go to this. Play me fair. Nicely done fair. Nicely done Messi. Take it around. Nice. The Burba spin. Messi still on the ball. Messi trying to bring it in. And that one's blocked. And here come freaking Fulham on the attack. Here's Ross McCormack and Mitroglu's on the other side. McCormack's trying to push it forward, and he does, but it does come back to me. And now I'm going to use my speed to try and break around these players. For some reason, he's, he's still on me. And McCormack, get out of here. Get out of here. You're a striker, not a defender. And they have a free kick. How did they get a free kick? How did they get a free kick? I'm just moving the wall out of the way so they can take a shot. Go, take a shot. Take a shot, McCormack. Take a shot. Nope. They're going to send it on the wing to Case. I think that's how you say his name. That one's pushed forward. And they're going to get another free kick. 
Or is that going to be the end of the match? Yep, that's going to be the end of the match. I probably have something like a 4.0 match rating. Yep. 4.0 match rating. Sick. Honestly, boys, I just don't know what it is. I don't want to play for QPR anymore. Ever since I came here, it's just been up and down and it hasn't been going good for me. So what I'm going to do is request a transfer because I do want to leave QPR. And there's only a few days left up until the transfer window. So I'm, hopefully my manager grants my request. He's going to talk it over with the board. I'm in goal for this next match, but I do not want to play for QPR anymore. Playing against Watford, and maybe without me, they're going to win. And yes, they win 3-1, so there's no point of me staying here. Uh, they still haven't made a comment on my transfer request. We're taking on Fulham once again, away from home now. We're simulating this match again, and I do want to leave QPR. Uh, recent transfer request, I have considered your request for a transfer, and I've decided to turn down your request. Every single time you ask for a transfer, you have to ask for it like two or three times before they actually give you a response. And uh, we're taking on Gillingham in the next match in the FA Cup. And hopefully by the first, they tell me that I'm allowed to leave. They're playing Weverton. I shall talk over the request with the board and get back to you with my decision shortly. They always do that. I'm not even in this match against Gillingham. They picked Weverton over me. I guess it's because they know I don't want to play for them anymore. And we are going to be picking up a 2 nothing, a 2 nothing win, a 2 nothing victory. And then he says, your recent transfer request, he's going to add me to the, sh to the transfer list. So that's going to be the end of this episode. Find out where I go in the next episode of the Messi goalkeeper career. We're going to do one final training, and I get a C and a C. Some of my stats go up. My current stats are 74 positioning, 75 reflexes, 74 diving, 73 handling, and 73 kicking. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I had a decent first game, then the second game, it all just went downhill. Thank you guys so much for watching once again, and I will see you next time. Do it! Do what? Just do it! Okay, do what? Do it! Subscribe to my channel! But I already am subscribed. Oh. So subscribe to my second channel! And also, follow me on Twitter at TheNobsYT. No, what are you waiting for? Do it! Just do it! But I can't. Yes, you can! Oh, okay.